Welcome back to another video guys and today we're going to be attempting to break the YouTube record for the ball behind the goal challenge. Now I'm sure you've all seen the videos of professional football players like Lewandowski, Lionel Messi and others curving the ball into the goal from a few meters behind the net. So this got me thinking, how far back can you go? There has to be a point from where it's not possible anymore, right? So we decided to go out to the pitch and find out. As you can see, we have a couple of cones laid out right there. They go all the way back to 16 meters behind the line. And we're going to try and curve the ball into the goal from all the way back there. We are going to be counting points as well. If I hit the shot, I get a point and we move back a cone. If Kenneth hits the shot, he gets a point and we move back a cone as well. And at the end, whoever has the most points wins. But it's also about the record, right? Okay, let's go. So the first level, just being on the goal line wasn't too difficult. Kenneth got very unlucky, the ball hit the post and oh. ended up not going in. My first shot ended up going in. So it was 1-0 to me. Now it was on to the second level, one meter behind the goal line. Still, nothing to be afraid of. My first shot hit the post and Kenneth's first shot just skimmed past the goal. Then my second shot went in easily. Time to move on to level three. After having scored the 2 meter shot in one go, we moved on to the 3 meter mark. We did get a bit unlucky with me hitting the back post and then Kenneth hitting the front post, but eventually he oh. was the one who got it in. It's actually quite a bit more difficult than it seems. You want to hit it with the inside of the boot, not like if you're going to hit a free kick, you want to hit it inside of the boot, but um, kind of with the top of your boot as well. And you want to get it the right height, because if it goes too high, there's no way it's going in, but too low, there's not enough spin on the ball. So, all right, moving on to level five. Now we were four meters behind the goal line. This still was too difficult. My first Aww. shot hit the post, Kenneth had a good try, and then my second shot easily went in. Time to move back again. Now at five meters, Kenneth only needed one try, so we could quickly oh. move on to the six meter mark. Oh, he's not even giving me the chance. Oh. Now having moved from zero to six meters went quite quickly, and I thought we would be done with this video relatively fast. But oh boy, was I wrong. After having a couple of opportunities, we eventually got the 6 meter mark and were able to move on to 7. But this was going to take so much longer than I initially thought. It's getting a bit more difficult now, but I think we can still do this. It's tied back up again. He got lucky, he hit the inside of the post and it went in. That's the second time, but fair play, for all. Gotta pick it up now. Now we were at the eight meter mark. Eight meters is quite a far way back from the goal and this is where it started to get difficult. Keeping in mind that we were now only halfway oh. to setting the YouTube record needed to hit it just right. It needed to have enough curve and enough height so that when it bounced, it would bounce with the curve into the goal. Now we both had a few close attempts, but eventually I hit it just right. It went high enough and bounced directly in front of the goal and went in. Point for me. See, that is exactly how you want to hit these. Good curve and bouncing straight into the goal. That's what we want. All right, on to level 10. It's getting a bit difficult now, but we got it. From 9 meters, I was able to hit the shot quite fast. I hit the perfect ball, it had the good height and I just bounced into the goal perfectly. Now, it was on to the 10 meter mark. At this point, we were 10 meters behind the goal line. And 10 meters is a long way back. 
This was not an easy shot to hit. We took a lot of shots. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. We had a lot of close opportunities, but we just couldn't get it. Also, we only had about nine balls. So we had nine opportunities and we had to run all the way over there, get the balls, run back, and then we had another nine. If you are enjoying the videos, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. All right, let's keep going. After struggling to hit this shot for about 45 minutes, this happened. Can it hit the perfect ball? It hit the post and the crossbar and then just rolled in. We finally done it. We made it to the 11 meter mark. Oh yes, in, 100% in. Oh, let's go. All right, we are now at the last blue cone. And then we're moving on to the white ones. And then it's time for the record. After having taken about an hour on the 10 meter mark, we had to get these next couple of levels done quickly if we wanted to set the record before sundown. Now we weren't just moving backwards, we were moving diagonally backwards. Otherwise, this just wasn't possible. Oh. Now the further away we got, the harder you needed to hit the ball as well. You had to hit the perfect shot to get it in now. And this level, luckily, didn't take as long as the last one. Kedit hit a great shot and it went in. Another point to him on to the 12 meter mark. Now we were 12 meters behind the goal, which is such a long way. And I was honestly fearing that this would take forever to hit as well. I got so unlucky on my first shot, hitting the crossbar. I was so gutted. Oh no, oh. it bounced over. But after a couple more attempts, I finally got it. And we were able to move on oh, to the next nice. one. Now we were at 13 meters. So we got quite lucky on the last two levels. We got them done relatively quick. We could only hope that this next one would go just as quick. Unfortunately, luck just wasn't on our side at this level. When I thought I hit it just right, it just wasn't good enough. It would hit the post or just nearly pass by the goal. At this stage, you had to hit the perfect oh, one on. or it just wouldn't go in. We've been at this for a while now, starting to kind of feel the same as the side volley world record. It took a while, but we will get it. We're at 14, we're so close. Alright, let's go. After a couple more tries, this happened. I hit the crossbar. Again. And the shot after that, I hit the post. Unbelievable. The luck is not on our side. We hit the crossbar, we hit the post, everything. So we're moving back to the world record now. I think we're tied in score. We're doing well. We've been here long enough. It's time to break the record. Let's do it. 16 meters. Look, at it. Look how far it's with all the boats. <laughs> right, let's go, Kenneth. First try. So this was it, 16 meters behind the goal line. This was not going to be easy. After a couple tries, this was my first good attempt. But of course, luck was still not on our side. It hit the crossbar, again. All right, let me tell you something. This is not easy. We were at it for a while. The legs are starting to ache as well, but we cannot give up. Hit the crossbar, we got so close. You can just feel it when you hit it right. It's the right amount of curve, the right amount of power. It's just like the with, with the side volley, you have to hit it perfectly and then it's beautiful. All right, let's get this. Oh, we're getting so close. As you can see, the sun's going down as well. It's kind of ruining the, the camera footage. <sighs> We've been here for such a long time. But I hit the crossbar, I really want to get this done. It's either me or Kenneth, one of us has got to get it. 
either today or tomorrow, hopefully today. I'm sure we can do this. We've gotten so close so many times, but it's just, we just gotta hit it perfectly. All right. At this point, we'd been on the pitch for a good four to five hours. The cameras were about to die, the sun was going down, we were almost ready to give up. But the many amounts of close attempts we had gave us that sliver of hope that this was possible and we had to get it done. Then, this happened. I hit what seemed like the perfect ball, but once again, it hit the post. But we were determined to get this done. We'd be there for the very last minute of sunlight that we had, and we would keep going until we got this done. This is just getting ridiculous. We only had five to ten minutes of sunlight left. Once again, I thought I had it, but it hit the crossbar. I can't tell you how demoralizing this was. I mean, look at me. I was so done with this challenge. Looking back, I know the times that you have it the most difficult, that's when you need to push on. So that's what we did. We kept on trying. We had finally done it. With minutes to spare, Kenneth hit the perfect shot and it went in. We now have the YouTube record for the furthest goal from behind the net, 16 meters. And what a grind it was, starting all the way from one, struggling at different levels for hours, and eventually getting this done, the best feeling in the world. And I think there's a lot to be learned here. If you set certain goals for yourself, and you do everything you can to achieve these, and you persevere through thick and thin, eventually you'll get there. It's not going to be easy, but you will get there. And in the end, it's all worth it. All right, so that was it, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.